Welcome back. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. A very good morning to you. How are you doing? We have Helen in studio this morning sharing her story of being in an abusive marriage for 14 years, four children later, got married at 21, experienced violence. And even if it wasn't every day during the break, we were just having this conversation. And even if he, it, it wouldn't be violent, then you'd be scared that yes. you don't know what to expect. Every day is... Every day is, even if he's not fighting, he's talking. He can't keep quiet. If he decides to talk, kutoka wakati atatoka kazi, mpaka wakati ataenda kazi asubuhi. So I would pray to God, I want to see the dawn. I want him to go. It reached a point, I asked my friend, can't we have marriage, marriage holidays? As in, a break. He goes for three years, then comes back. I was so tired. But you were told never to leave. So the only thing you are hoping for is somebody to create a marriage holiday. Yes. Because you are not leaving. Yes. I'm not leaving. He's not going. No. I don't have somewhere to go. I don't have parents. I cannot go back to my rural home. Yeah. You have I four ha kids. I have four kids, for God's sake. But they see I am not empowered. They are seeing. My firstborn... He, one, at one point, when she was two and a half years, and I was, I was calling our second born and holding her hand, the dad comes in and starts fighting because I have bought a small table. You've bought a table? You bought a table? I bought a small it table. It wasn't a dress? No. Or a handbag? No. And we didn't have a table in our house. I had to buy a table for 2,700. I had joined a chama for 20 shillings per day. I had to steal coins in his pockets so that I can be able to pay that chama and empower myself. I want a smart house. So he comes in and fights because I have bought a table. Then I took a knife. You took a knife? Yes, I wanted to stamp him. My daughter tells me, Muwe, mom. And she was two and a half years. Oh. Yes. My God. Then she ra he runs out and closes the door from inside, from outside. He was that harsh. Ukinunua kitamba, nishida. Mama, kinok mlango, nisaidie kisu. Why are you giving out our things, our sufurias? If the baby falls down, Mwanamke anasema nini ama mama mtoto akianguka mtoto wangu mm -hmm. ameanguka mm -hmm. nafaa kusema mtoto wetu ameanguka oh, si wangu okay. ni wetu okay. the mother had to to intervene mama yake yes okay but even if even though he she intervened the guy didn't change didn't at listen some to point, the mother no mm -hmm. At some point, he, the mother told me that the guy copied his dad, his late dad. Ah, uh, so he saw these things? Yes. Okay. So, Mama Hafai Kuingia Chama, even my mother, has never joined a merry-go-round. You should cook like my mother. You should not talk to these women who, when you want to kwa Mimi nishinde nyumbani na nikai kwa nyumba. So I became so scared. I didn't share my story with anyone, including my sisters. I, I used to tell them I'm okay. Sisi tuko sao. What point did you wake up? At what point did you decide, I don't care if he will beat me to death, but I'm leaving with my children and I'm going? Uh, it reached a point. I decided it will not work. Even if I stay here for 20 years, one day, one time, I will leave this man. And that, is, that was 2013, when I saw a message in his phone. I, used, I never used to touch his phone. But one day, I decided, Isimu, nikamwambia, ebu nisaidia Isimu nipigie your sister, haka nisaidia. So after calling the sister, nikafikiria, wacha ni inbox, kidogo. And he was there. So, I inbox, 
nikapata message ya msichana nilikuwa nime nashinda nikimwambia sitaki relationship yako na fulani and i got some messages za jana they were not love messages but they were mm. ilikuwa inaonyesha there is something mm. then i was mad and i told him there's something between you and her <coughs> i called my friend na akakuja and his sister tukaongea akasema hakuna kitu na mimi nikakubali na nika nikamwambia ni sawa nimekusamehea but that was from my mouth deep down deep down in my heart i knew it is over so after one month i called that girl nikamwambia 1 2 3 and i i want to give you this man if you want then she declined she cried then nikaachana na yeye so that is the point when i reached my turning point mm. but i didn't leave oh i didn't leave i still stayed stayed there i was thinking now these are four children i'm not empowered biashara mm. ilisha so i had to think of how i will move from where <coughs> tulikuwa tumejulikana sana nikuje in the other side of nairobi tukakuja my heart still knew it will not work so alianza threats mimi naweza waua mpaka na watoto hey, hey, hey. Hey. Eh wewe ni mtu wa many boyfriends wewe eh kwa sababu mimi nauza mashamba ama broker na brokers ni wale wa mama prostitutes <coughs> that is what yes. he would say yeah it's not a clean business so he calls my brother mimi sitaki hii biashara sister yenu anafanya kama ataendelea kufanya hii biashara eh tutaachana so i decided I'll continue with my business and it will give me a lot of returns. Mimi sasa nilikuwa najua hata akinichapa ama asinichape niko sawa. So vita iliendelea, matusi, madharau, lakini mimi niendelea na biashara zangu. At some point I told him, one time <coughs> I want to enter in politics. He told me again, my wife can ought, cannot be a politician. So if you decide to become a politician, we part ways. I told him it's okay. I'm ready. But he used to use the word of God. God hates divorce. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, I am the authority. Mm. The you are to submit. <laughs> yes. That is the Bible. <laughs> but he forgot the part where he's supposed to love wow. you. But I ask myself. Submission and love is a two way traffic. That's true. You love me, submission comes out automatically. automatically. Then I asked myself because the church in the church when we are tying the knots you are told that till death do us do you part. Mpaka ukufe, mpaka mmoja wenu akufe the physical death. Mm. That is when you part ways. So I asked myself I'm already dead emotionally mentally I am dead So I asked myself can dead people marry No Can you live with a dead person No You must not die physically Before you die physically mm. you are already dead emotionally mentally you are dead When I analyze our marriage it was based or grounded or grounded on grudges nisaidie pesa ya hii atanipatia kwa sababu hataki nimwache he would rather aende akope kwa sababu namwambia nataka kufanya hii biashara na anaona sasa nimeanza kukua resistant mm. so uh, he would rather go and look for money mm-hmm. he brings it here ndio nisimwache 
ulimwacha aje tukuna dakika tatu and it looks hey. like because we haven't <clears throat> even gotten to reconnect media and i would like like us to go there but we don't have enough time yes. so for these three minutes maybe you can take us to how you left and promise that next week you'll come so that we talk about i must come back yes <laughs> <laughs> so before i let you go at what point did you leave how was it did he take it well did he know did you tell him or did you just leave i told him okay. i'm leaving i left and he followed yeah. i left again and he followed me then i went to my brother and told him i want you to call so and so tell him to come out of my house I'm a single mother. I even pranked that I'm married to someone and I'm expecting a child. Of course I have a big berry. So because he, he, he believed, by the way, he believed. And that is at th that, uh, that point he left my house. You had to lie. I had to lie. And even if I lied, he tried coming back. But Caro, I had already decided, even when I was inside that house, yes. that he is not my husband. I'm not going to live with this man. So that is the, at the point where I left him. And he never came back? I, he, has, he was trying to come back, but I built a very strong wall okay. that he cannot even be able to jump over. You know, that's that good. is where I started yes. reconnect. I reconnected with myself. I reconciled with my past. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I'm drawing my future. Did you have to, now that you, you, you have cut one tie, but then you have wounds from all of these years, have you sought to, you know, get help to help you forgive, to help you heal from the inside? But the Caro, when I was leaving, I was already healed. Okay. I was healed, Kabisa. And I, I knew that if I continue staying there, mm -hmm. I, will, I will hurt him. Okay. I decided to leave because leaving was good for me and for him. Mm. He was toxic and yes. he had intoxicated me also. Okay. okay. So the environment was not good for me, for him and for the children. So I decided I must leave for him to, to reconcile with himself. Mm. And I reconcile with mine, yes. myself, and the children to have a very good environment. Because when toxic, 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 toxicity, mm -hmm. it's not a good environment for all. Children, the toxic person, and the other one. Yes. Be it a woman or the man, mm. it is not a good environment. Yes, and sometimes you say that we are staying in for the children, they need both parents, but then we are causing more damage. True, true. And before we come to the end, because you're going to go on a very short commercial, but you promise to come back next week yes. so that we can pick up from here and see the things that you've done in terms of helping women yeah. and society and your aspirations of getting into politics are not dead. Yes. They're actually very, very alive. Yes. But your children are watching. Do you want to give them a shout out? Wow, of course. <laughs> Here's your camera. <laughs> this is your camera. You don't, you don't have to say their names if you want to still protect them, but, you know, a message to them. Hi, hi. Victoria, Patience, Shekina, and Samuel. Mama loves you so much. <laughs> say hi to my sisters. Teresa, Mudoni, Wajiko, Kiaori, Wairioko, and Donga. <laughs> and David, hi. Thank Love you, you guys. So much. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will have Helen join us next week. So I hope you're looking forward to see how this conversation goes. But keep sending your SMSs. Do you think society has put this thing on women that they need to get married? That that is the epitome of being a girl child. And the thing that if you get married, you should not leave. That you should shut up and do not air your dirty linen in public. Triple one, triple four, triple one. We'll be looking into your SMSs in a bit right now, though. We need to pay our bills. We'll be right back. <laughs>